brought to you by Express Care Health and Skin Center. Get in, get out, get better. Hop in and welcome back to Healthy Living. The doctors in the house, please welcome Dr. Yitka Lam from Express Care located in the Aganya Shopping Center. She's here to answer your questions as well as talk to us about how to live a healthy life. This week we are talking about environmental allergies. Thanks, doctor, for being with us. And if you could just explain to our viewers exactly what is environmental allergies. Okay, well, uh, thank you for having me again. Environmental allergies are your body's immune system's response to your environment. So your immune system sees the world as friend or foe. Most things are friends, you don't react against them. Foes would be things like but germs, bacteria or viruses. And sometimes the immune system mistakenly identifies something as an enemy when it's not. A harmless substance such as tree pollen, dust, yeah. um, mold, um, uh, again, dust mites, those things will trigger off an allergic response in the body. What happens is the antibodies go in, attack the enemy, that would be the pollen, release a bunch of chemicals that are incredibly irritating to the skin or, and, or to the mucous membranes. So what you develop are runny nose, itchy eyes, sneezing, sometimes wheezing or asthmatic attacks because of this perceived enemy. Are all prevalent allergies on Guam environmental or are those some, or are there some that Pacific Islanders have a genetic uh, disposition to? Well, I think in general, um, there is no specific genetic predisposition on Guam to something or other. Um, Pacific Islanders would be very used to um, the environment here. I think mostly people who come from other places to Guam experience a lot of allergies when they first arrive, um, especially to mold and to the pollens that we have here. Um, so I don't think that it would be a genetic predisposition mm -hmm. that locals would have. Well, do you find that children uh, tend to outgrow certain conditions as they get older? They tend to. If you, if you look at children, about maybe 40% of them will have allergic rhinitis. That means runny nose in response to the environment. Mm -hmm. You know, a lot of little kids around two or three years old will have a runny nose a lot of the time and um, parents will be worried that they seem to have a cold all the time. They don't, they're just responding to the environment. And as their immune system matures and starts to understand that these are not enemies, this is just dust, this is just animal hair, nothing that's gonna harm the child permanently, then the immune system will gradually tone down its response. So many children will outgrow as they get to older age. It's like, you know, eight, nine, 10, they'll stop having that runny mm -hmm. nose. Do you recommend, though, any sort of medication for, I guess, these environmental allergies? Well, they can be very unpleasant and, and cause, um, lead, the congestion that you get from the environmental allergies, the runny nose, can lead to sinus infections mm -hmm. because there's always mucus sitting around that can then get infected. Plus, it's pretty unpleasant and uncomfortable to have itchy eyes and runny nose. So you can take medicine either after the fact, like Benadryl, or even preventively, something like Claritin, or the other name is Loratadine. You can take that every day. It's perfectly safe for children over the age of six to take that every day to prevent their allergic symptoms. Mm -hmm. If left untreated, could any of them be uh, life-threatening? Most of these environmental allergies are not life-threatening. Um, the ones that we know about, of course, are peanut allergy or um, bee sting allergies. Those are very severe um, uh, allergic responses that can be life-threatening. Um, environmental allergies would only become a problem if they tr triggered off a, a bad asthma attack. So a child that would have um, you know, exposure to a cat and then would start wheezing and would end up at the hospital with a, with a serious and life-threatening asthmatic attack. Okay, well, we are going to take a quick break, but stay tuned. Our Healthy Living edition of KUM News Extra with Dr. Yitka Lam continues after this.